Hey y'all, it's Reverend Joel Talbert from the Presbyterian Church of Chestertown here in Kent County, Maryland. It's week four of our sermon series, I've Been Meaning to Ask from Sanctified Art. We've asked three great questions so far, and this week we ask a biggie, where do we go from here? Reverend Caitlin is preaching this week, and she has been talking about what it looks like to lean forward into the future as an individual, as a couple, as a community, as a church. I hope you'll come this Sunday and hear her expand the text and expand our hearts and minds so that we can lean to wherever it is God is taking us from here where we are today. Before we get to Sunday though, I want to share this video with you from Reverend Aisha Brooks Johnson. She's in Atlanta as well, and somebody else I know from my time in Georgia. I hope you find her words inspiring and challenging and comforting and hopeful. We'll see you Sunday. Where do we go from here? I'm glad you asked. We go from this place with new languages of love for ourselves, for our community, and for our world. One thing I enjoy about pastoral ministry is officiating weddings. While I cherish the moment of the wedding day, I enjoy offering encouragement to couples along their journey of doing life together with their spouse. I can remember one young bride called me about six months into her new life of matrimony. Aisha, I think this marriage is over. I asked her to elaborate. She began to talk about how she and her husband could not see eye to eye. Aisha, we don't agree on anything. I'm not sure that we're going to make it. I asked her, have you read The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman? We talked about how each person must learn the love language of the other so that their loved ones might receive love in a way that makes sense to them, even if it means learning something new for ourselves. I am convinced that in this new season of our lives as a church, that we need some new languages of love. We need new love languages so that people can receive God's message of love in ways that make sense to them. The way I see it, we need to learn the languages of digital space and deep justice. In other words, you may have to learn the nuance of expressing God's love via Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or Zoom or some text messaging app and maybe even get a TikTok account all in the name of loving your neighbor. I can remember the first time I had to sign on to create an AOL instant messenger account in the late 90s. I was serving as a middle school youth director in the suburbs of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the time. My username was Dreadilocks because clearly I had more hair than I do now. I did not participate in that method or mode of communication because I loved it. I did it because I loved the kids. Our love language of digital space and technology tells the world that God's message of love, it translates in person, behind a screen, and everywhere in between. In the same manner, love languages of justice, it's not new, but it needs to be reimagined for each season and each generation. People need to know that God loves the condition of each human body, as well as the state of each soul. We know that the scriptures call on justice to flow down like rivers, and that all who follow God are to do justice and love kindness and walk humbly with God. What does deep justice look like 
in a diverse, multicultural, and intercultural world. Your definition of justice may not be the same as your neighbor. You can only speak a love language of deep justice if you engage with your neighbors in a way that is authentic and empathetic. Love languages of deep justice may require time, investment, sacrifice, and a decentering of your priorities and your way of being in the world. New love languages of deep justice will demand that you learn to listen, and I mean really listen to the cries of others. It will demand that you take the time to see the hurt, to feel the intensity of the pain, to listen to the outcries, to see the inequity, the systemic trauma, the pleas, the unsettledness, and the yearning for deep healing in our broken world. We have got to go from this place with more love, bold love, radical love, tangible love, deep love. We must go from this place with languages of love that articulate the hope, innovation, truth, justice, and mercy, even if it means we have to change again and again.